you've been a professional comedy writer for 20 years since I met you. You were a senior at Harvard, published a book, you were writing for The Lampoon, then you got hired at SNL. What did you think was happening? I, I always loved writing because it was like a, a refuge for me, a refuge yeah. from anxiety, and it was like, Yeah, that's your, his first block is uh, anxiety. Anxiety, like, yeah. you know. Which is, you know, not a shocker probably. No. Yeah. But um, it was like this, with writing, I could I could kind of go into my room and just be completely, totally in control of what yeah. I was writing. And so uh, it was like my safe uh, activity. And then I got hired at SNL and I thought, well, this is going to be great for my anxiety because I could write all the time because I'll yeah. be a professional writer. Right. Um, but it, it turned but out. But you're writing, you're writing about 24 hours in the rest <laughs> of the time. It turned out that it was not, it did not yeah. uh, relieve my anxiety. You made a lot of, a lot of yeah. producing and talk. I, yeah. whenever I'm at SNL, <laughs> I'm like, I cannot believe the amount of socializing they have to do. It's unbelievable. It's like unfucking barrel and like yeah. complimenting sketches. I like that move and you're just like, what are you get? Yeah. It's so odd to me. Yeah. I mean, it's just what it is. It's just like a cocktail party kind of. Well, the first half of the week is like bliss because you're just like ensconced in your tiny room with yep. your, your favorite writers to write with or, yep. or cast to write with and you're, you're writing whatever you want. You have total freedom. No one comes in and says like, you've got to write about, you know, yeah. X political issue. Uh, you can do anything. So, yeah. And then- um, Who did you, you wrote with Mulaney, America? Mulaney and America Bill? a lot. I uh, wrote with Bill a lot. Um, wrote with- Anything, like what are your, what are your most known sketches? Our most known sketches, I mean, probably What's That Name? Hello and welcome to What's That Name? The rules are simple. We show you a person, you tell us their name. It's a great sketch. Which is when we just went full tilt and made Bill Hader's game show uh, host a, an actual psychopath, which we had been drifting there for years. <laughs> Bill would play- You finally just named Bill what he is. Okay. <laughs> because we, we had, when we, the default when I got to SNL was game show hosts were still kind of in the Phil Hartman game show host yeah. mold. They were oily and sleazy and cheesy. Um, certainly like they lacked humanity, but they weren't like active antagonists. And well, what's funny is <laughs> when just... I think of that sketch, <laughs> I don't think of Bill. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think yeah. of the premise of the sketch, which is we all interact with so many people and there are people whose names yeah. you should know yeah. that you don't know. Totally. I'm one of your closest friends. Hey, Todd. And I've been his girlfriend for four years. <laughs> <laughs> what's my name? Hey. Great to see you. I guess thinking about it, Bill is goading the the contestants. Yeah, he's the antagonist, right? He's the one who is twisting the knife. Yes, you just don't consider her a human being. <laughs> what kind of horrible game show is this? It's what's that name? I don't know if you ascribe whose idea it was, but was that the point of the sketch? No, but it became the point of the sketch. Okay. Yeah, I mean, because it it very quickly morphed from like a premise driven sketch yeah. into a character sketch. Great. Once we realized that that Bill is is the, the devil essentially, but also, actually like, Satan. He's not wrong. <laughs> no, he's not wrong. That's what makes him so dangerous. It's just he's and, being rude. Yeah, he's and, cornering people. We had a whole backstory for Bill's game show character, which is that. Um, he was independently wealthy and, and funded the game show himself just, <laughs> just to torture people. Great. Uh, <laughs> uh, you ever read The Magic Christian? Of course. One of the best pure comedy books ever. Terry Southern. Like just a great premise. Yeah, very similar. Very well very, executed. Very similar to What's That Name. Yeah. It's a guy who's a billionaire and just used it to fuck with people. Yeah. And I still think someone should make it. They've tried a million times. They ma actually did make it. It was bad. Oh, did they? Yeah. Terry Southern, did you know, wrote for Saturday Night Live. I did know that. For one I season. Did, I did a yeah. Terry Southern deep dive t t back when you were, back before I met you. Yeah. Um, okay, so wrote with Bill, wrote with Mulaney, wrote with America. And how did that affect your anxiety? Uh, <laughs> well, writing with them was a blast. Right, right yeah. Um, it was thrilling. It was like I had company to write, people to write with. Um, but then I got- And it must have been fun to have- Kindred spirits, when you meet kindred spirits that, and they didn't, they weren't Harvard Lampoon people. Totally. It must Absolutely. have been like, oh, great, you guys aren't. And Melanie, you only went to Georgetown. <laughs> uh, you you dummies, uh, a bunch of civilians. But it must have been like very heartening and exciting. It was thrilling. Yeah. yeah. It's like this, um, it really feels like a miracle. I mean, everybody, or not to generalize, but many people get into, Professional comedy writing have had unusual childhoods, yeah. And so it, SNL, when it was at its 
most fun. It felt like there is this support group, this this friend group that I've always wanted. Yeah, um, you have you have a fear of mobs here. Yeah, social media mobs. Mobs in general. But the, yes. Now the question is. Yeah, I'm terrified of that crowd. What crowd? The the <laughs> SNL. You know when they would walk. Oh, in. the 300 people or whatever. Yeah. 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 But they're all just like excited teenage girls. I dress their excited the excited teenage daughters of yeah. executives. Yes. And at air they're even more excited tourists from yeah. Chicago. Yeah. So uh, they're they're harmless. So that, yeah. Try but telling it that did to make me. a difference. Yeah. yeah. And were they <laughs> did you see them as discerning? Or you just didn't want to bomb? Fear of bombing was I mean I will say as a comedian, <laughs> writing a sketch, producing it for three days, mounting it and unveiling it to an audience is pretty laborious. <laughs> it's a laborious way to eat shit. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. If you're gonna eat shit, it, just say it. Just just scoop it out of the toilet. Don't yeah. spend three days like delicately, <laughs> delicately like, yeah, slicing seasoning the shit. It. Yes. And, you know, like yes. putting it in like a little, getting it just right. Yeah, and right. Then, like yeah. the bear and a like, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. But but what I'm saying is, I get, I understand, and it is like, I guess it's expensive. If you're gonna write a sketch that eats shit and it costs seventy grand, right, with in wood and paint, sure, and cost, yeah, d was it? <laughs> did you did you ever picture them going like, there he is? Like, how bad would the would the uh, nightmare scenario be? Well, I still have the nightmare scenario in, in in my nightmares. Like, I still have the literal sure. SNL nightmare. Do you have? I, I don't your... I've ever heard this. <laughs> I I've worked at SNL three weeks in my right. entire life. Yeah, pretty much since the early 2000s before Chappelle Show. Every night I've had a stress dream about Siren Lab. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Wait, like but I have four or five nights a week, it will be I'm at SNL. I'm either on the eighth floor, seventeenth floor. I'm at I'm uh, somewhere with yeah. Seth. Yeah, at Wig Bill. Yeah, Will Ferrell. Right. Lauren's, Lauren's, pretty much every dream I have is Lauren's mad at me. Same. It, usually it's he wants, usually he's mad at me. And by the way, Lauren has, I think likes me. We, I barely know him. We've gotten along. He doesn't get mad very often. He's a yep. very even keel yeah. uh, person. Yeah, uh, it's usually Lauren is mad. Um, and, and, and also I'm supposed to be on camera or I was supposed to go on camera and do something and I forgot. So it, in my in my nightmares, I'm often being thrust onto the SNL stage. And sometimes Did I- Did you ever do like a Q and A in the, in the monologue? Did you ever do I like an audience uh, member? They would use me as an extra sometime because I was so yeah. unusual looking. Yeah. So I would often play like, you know, the, ki the kid or the yeah. um, the cashier when they needed like a teenage uh -huh. extra. Yeah. They would, they would use me. Save uh, money. Right. Using an adult. Yeah. Exactly. Those were very frightening experiences. I mean, whenever I had to be like the extra, like in the, in the background of a sketch, it felt very similar to, I don't really have like a big fear of heights, but um it felt like standing on the edge of, of like a 300 foot tall cliff with like wind. Yeah. Just like being told like, okay, like we're not even going to pay you the $173 that, uh -huh. that an extra gets. Yeah. Uh, but what you do is a favor for three minutes, uh, just like stand uh, on the mouth of this cliff <laughs> and don't, you don't have to say anything or do anything, just sort of stay there for three Seth and a half minutes. Wrote, Seth wrote this mouth of a cliff. <laughs> yeah, and right. Just stand yeah, they yeah. need a person to stand on it. And uh, there's going to be like screaming winds <laughs> coming <laughs> by you. I mean, you're uh, not wrong. Yeah. This, uh, the difference is <laughs> some of us like it. Like, yeah. meaning like, I don't not get nervous when right. I do an F or when I do a, when I do a stand up. Right. I get nervous every time. Yeah. But I like, there's a, I said something to a friend of mine where when you, if you have suicidal thoughts and they go, did you have a, did you make a plan? Did you make a suicidal right. plan? And I go, yeah, I decided to do stand up. Yeah. <laughs> it's, there's something suicidal about it yes. where like you just go, I don't really care. Right. Like I'm terrified, but like the reward is worth it. Yes. And for you, there's no reward. 
Right. I mean, it is ironic that for somebody with like a, a fear of mobs that I, I went into a, an industry in which my trying to call like in which my to... success is directly tied to my ability to appease those Seduce mobs. The mob. yeah. yeah. Right. But from afar, at least and yeah. through actors and through pieces of paper surrogates. Yeah. There's this distance and, and through fictional characters. Yeah. You know, it's it, so many of my short stories are written in the first person. So they're from the from the point of view of of uh, a character that sounds nothing like me. You know. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.